Hey guys, so hopefully you just saw my fantastic intro where I look super glamorous and fantastic and you don't think I look like a crazy person right now in this hair because Adele has big hair so my hair is just up which I'm changing this for. Make sure. I am doing an, an Adele's inspired makeup look. When her new video came out, everyone was talking about like how beautiful it was and how gorgeous her voice is and how amazing she is. And I was like, that contour is like, damn, damn, damn. So I was super, I just love the way she always does her makeup. Like I think it's just easy and perfect. I'm gonna give you guys like an Adele inspired look because um, obviously the music video, hello, she's in like that, I don't know what the hell you call that look. Safia? I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, so she's in that kind of like grainy look and you can't really tell what the coloring is on her makeup. So this is going to be my inspo pick. Yes, hello. Hello to the contour. It's really about matte. She always is pretty matte. She never does a lot of highlight, which I'm like <laughs> going for an idea. All she does is she has really big round eyes and cat eyes a lot of times are to accentuate kind of that slanted look, obviously like a cat, but she does it different because her makeup artist brings that really high up into here. So it's, it's very circular and makes her eyes stay very round looking, but also giving them a wing at the end. So it's, that's why it looks so different on Adele, I think, than most people when they just roll up on a cat eye and it's like straight up and super fierce and super straight. She does it very round. So I'm gonna try to emulate that as much as I can. I don't normally wear my liner like that, so that's gonna be an interesting trying to get it like round like that. So I'm gonna start on my eyes. So if I make any big boo-boos, I can just wipe it all off. I haven't really liked this, this concealer, the Tarte Maracujo, but then I got a darker color and now I'm like kind of loving it. Use that as my base because Okay. Using just like a crown brush I got in my Ipsy bag. But I'm gonna go through there. No, with my wet beauty blender. Just to make sure that it's all blended. I almost dropped my water. That would have sucked so much. I mean it's just water, but still. Her look is very matte in this entire video, so I'm trying to stay as matte as possible. Um, so I'm just gonna use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. So if you like mattes, I highly suggest it because they're all matte. Um, and I'm just going to set, oh shit, oh man. I'm like not doing it today. So I just forgot that I had concealer on the back of my hand and now my leg is massively concealed. So I'm taking kind of this banana color. I'm just gonna set this on here. So she doesn't do a lot of shadow. It's all about the contour and the liner. And her liner is not crazy long, but it's thick and round, like I said before. So setting that. Now I'm just gonna take this transition shade. It's more of a brown. It's pretty dark for a transition shade for me, but we're gonna roll with it and I'm gonna put it all in this area, in my transition area. So I'm gonna keep it as round as possible. So I'm not going too far out here. I'm using a Sigma E25, which is just a smaller blending brush. And I'm just going in that crease. keep my lid as light as possible. And then we're covering most of it up. I still want the majority of my lid to be light. So I'm just gonna keep blending this. One of the Anastasia brushes and it's just kind of like the dual fiber end. I'm taking the next darker shade, adding most of it off, and just very lightly going into my crease. And that's 
say for shadows. I'm gonna go to what I normally go to. I thought about using a gel, but I just don't have a gel right now that I like enough to, I think, use a gel. So I'm taking my brush end for this. I'm going to set my arm down on this table, even though it's a wobbly ass table, because I want to be able to have as much control over this, because like I said, I'm not going straight, which is easy, I'm trying to curve it up, but you can easily go whoop and curve it all the way up, so let's see. And her flick is very much like a traditional old school flick where it's not like that, it's very like up. See how it goes up like that? So now I'm just gonna do the fill in part. Switch the ends. So there you go. So it's not very big. With lashes, you'll barely be able to see it. Now we go to my hard side. We all get an easy side. Like, it's easy to go like this, but it's like awkward as hell to go like this. So, it's even more awkward to film yourself doing it. So, same thing, I'm gonna start at the end of the corner. Bring it up. So, I almost have like a fold right there, I just kind of follow it right now. Now this is not a normal wing shape for me, so I have to like really look at it. Because I did not put face makeup on before, like I said, because I don't really know how to do this wing as far as like this isn't my normal wing shape. Do you want to clean this one up? So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do my um, mascara and my lashes. And because uh, that's not really, I mean, lashes. Let's see what kind of lashes I'm going to wear. Everyone really, really loves Adele. And I like Adele. I mean, trust me, I do. Music is a little depressing sometimes. But um, Lana Del Rey is definitely like my, my... She's my number one go-to. You feel a little sad. Just throw some one on. Makes life so much better. So I have these crazy Huda Beauty lashes. They're called Lana number 10 and they're intense. Now, Adele definitely does lashes. Like she doesn't do like individual lashes or um, anything like that. She does like lash, lash. So I ended up getting sushi and and then I was like, oh, my camera's about to die. So I was like, oh, let me film, or let me charge. And then I was like, oh, let me make an eggnog. So I made an eggnog. Because it was in the fridge and like, it only lasts a couple days. So I was like, you know what? I need to use it while I still can. So sue me. So um, I actually ended up using a different lash. Like I was gonna wear, like I said, the Huda Beauty Lana lashes, but they are so big. Like I haven't quite figured out when I'm gonna wear them. The huge lash I have, but it's a little more cat eye, are the Lash in the City by Velour Lashes. I really like them. They're very, just, they're very pretty. I have been using the, well, my cheeks are red because I'm hot. My house is really hot and the door is all open because it's supposed to be cold in Florida, but it's not. So, um, I have been using, my hands are washed, by the way. After I eat sushi, now I'm drinking it gone. I'm gonna use the, um, because it does pretty matte skin, um, the Skin Equalizer Base, just the Smoothing Primer by Makeup Forever. So I'm just gonna put that on to start with. So yeah, I've been using the Sunday Riley Artisan Oil and it's definitely serious. Serious stuff. <laughs> Update on my foundations. I did not like the Marc Jacobs. I wore it, I actually went to put it on in Vegas and I completely 
freaked out. It like oxidized almost instantaneously. It oxidized yellow, not like a little yellow, like a little yellow. And I got a not a, like a neutral color, so I have no idea why it was so yellow. Um, and we tried on a couple different colors, and sometimes you just gotta say like, it's just not for me. So I took that one back too. I don't, I'm taking all these like super hyped about foundations back, and I'm still saying like, the best foundation I have right now is Too Faced, Born This Way, for real. I did get the Tom Ford one, and I really like that, but it's very dewy, and I didn't want to be so dewy. So. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D tattoo foundation. I squirt a lot of that on there. So I really, really enjoy this one. Um, definitely a little more yellow, but I've been doing a lot of research on like tones and undertones and I don't know. Um, a lot of the stuff I've heard is saying like, hey, if you have really red skin, like I do, sometimes the yellow is good to counteract and balance against that kind of pinky reddish undertone and give you more of a neutral color. So, this one's a little bit yellow for me when I first put it on, but it turned out looking really nice. Just wet my beauty blender a little bit more because for some reason I felt like it was like really dry. I have a critter. Critter coming in. I'm just gonna use my Tarte and put it back on my hand that I washed off the rest of it liner or Tarte concealer. I don't know what color it is. It doesn't say what color it is. Like I obviously know what color it was when I bought it. I'm just gonna put that underneath. I look straight up crazy today, don't I? I do. And I'm actually gonna take the same thing I've been using, which is my MAC 310 brush and just that in. So the only negativity I can say about the Kat Von D is it can get like yellow and patchy in certain areas. I don't know if it's like my dry areas because they're like weird areas I wouldn't normally um I got really close to my line there, I need to fix it afterwards. It's like through here, I feel like it looks a little yellow. So because Adele is straight up hardcore on the ha on the contour, hardcore on the contour, I'm actually gonna use, which is what Carly Bible uses. Um, I've actually really liked it. I've only used it once. And it blends pretty well um, considering what it is. But I'm gonna use the LA Girl Concealer in Bronzed. What is this color? Is this? I got it. I can't read it because it's still in plastic and I can't get the plastic out. Oh my god, there's a bug on my light. <gasps> my girl concealer. It's just like a pin, like a felt pen, pen, brush, 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 concealer. I'm doing a cream contour. I'll do this before I set anything on my face, so. gives you like a super, super sharp contour. Just make sure this is all blended in. And I can do my nose this way too. I feel like I've been changing up my nose contour a little bit because I do like, there's like that thing on here, there we go. Because I do like having like a really shiny tip nose, I feel like I haven't been contouring it all the way down. I've been kind of contouring it to like here. I used to like kind of contour the tip and stuff, but I don't know. I've been rolling with this and I'm kind of a fan. Oh, and I'm going to do my jawline because that's another place she does it. To kind of get, make sure you have that nice structured jaw. Gonna point out if you were trying to like if you were trying to be an, an Adele in like impersonator, you would want to do your little butt chin. So you'd want to contour right in there, but I don't really want to be an Adele impersonator. Here and here a little bit. And so now I'm just gonna take a real techniques. What's it? A real techniques stippling brush and just start 
blending all of that in. So it's creamy and it blends very nicely. Blend up on your cream contour for sure. That's definitely key. So you can see it's just like starting to, it gives me a nice base for contour because it is a cream. You have to set it anyway, so I'm gonna go over it. So it kind of seems like a little bit silly, but I feel like it gives you the best contour. Also, I am going to, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do first. So I'm gonna go through using my Kat Von D palette and then I'm going to set that contour and then I'm gonna bake my entire face. So I'm using the middle shade, which is Shadow Play. The Dell has that serious contour, all about making that look like she, I mean, she kind of has like more hollowed in here, which I've kind of been doing a little bit lately, just to kind of give me that that look. But be careful, because contour is aging. It will age you. Um, youth is fluffy, fluffy, plump and juicy, and their collagen is all in place, so they don't have that. So if you are contouring. Um, know that it can age you slightly. But you know I'm only 21, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh my god, I can't even say it seriously. You know, there's someone like, holy shit, she's 21. She looks like shit for 21. So I just did my brows off camera, and now I'm actually going to bake my face. So I took my little sifter finally out of. Uh, out of my Laura Mercier translucent powder, a little thing. So I'm just going to dip a wedge in there and kind of press it and then put it on underneath, making sure that I don't have any. You don't want to set your wrinkles where it creases. I'm just going right underneath there and then. Into here, pretty much wherever I get kind of right around my nose and oily and like spotted. So I like to make sure that's there, and then I put it on my forehead to set my forehead in. I'm gonna do a little bit of color underneath there, just a little touch brush in that lightest shade that I used as a bring it up and keep out the wing yeah I think that's kind of all I want to do I don't even think I want to bring any darker colors into this because I want it to be very heavy on the top. Um, sometimes she wears one lash, you know, I'm just gonna do my very corner. Just feather that in very, very lightly. That same dark shade. And just take the lightest color and blend it all out blush really quick beforehand um so i got the new tarte holiday palette i really like it bling it on so you can see it's got it's kind of got a lot of different shades the few tutorials i've watched people weren't wearing a lot of blush no person didn't even wear blush but then i saw adele on jimmy kimmel that's big thing looks crazy when I look at myself in there. and she had a shit ton of blush on so i'm thinking blush so i'm gonna use doll face which is kind of like the pinkiest color in here there. So what I'm doing different here than I would normally is I'm not bronzing. She's contoured, she's not bronzed. 
and I find that that is a difference. So she's very structured. When you cut, when you bronze over your contour, you kind of have a tendency to mess it up. So not mess it up, but it doesn't have that same exact structure line. On the same note, she does not do a lot of highlight, and you know, you know me, I'm usually all about that highlight. But <coughs> I'm joking on my eggnog, but. She's not using a lot of shimmer. Um, it's pretty matte. She never really wears a lot of shimmer. So I'm just gonna take the uh, Hourglass Ambient palette, which is pretty relaxed. And I'm just gonna do a little, oh, you know what I need to do? Is I do need to contour my nose with, I did not set my nose contour. Take the subconscious shade and just a crown, um, Kind of, I don't even know where I got this brush. Like it's a medium eyeshader brush, but I actually like it for contour. I'm just gonna do my nose contour really quick. And I just take my finger and the lighter shade in the palette and put it right on the front. It's gonna give you. And then on the sides. And then water on the tip. I keep it down. And up here. I'm pretty much done with everything. Um, she didn't do, she didn't do a lot of bronzer, so it's a pretty like pale skin, but obviously really nice big hair. So I was trying to kind of go for like the bigger hair vibe. So hopefully that's coming through. I wish I had a fur vest, that would've been bomb. Why does my hair look so green in this light? It's like something so green. Every time I look in like the lights in here, these big white lights, it makes my hair look green. My hair is not green at all. Maybe it's the background? I don't know. Anyways, so I am gonna just do my lips. I am going to do, um, I think, because it's cute and you know, even though she wasn't a Bond girl, she was in the movie. I think I'm gonna use my Bond girl by uh, my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Bond girl. Let's see. Cause I don't want, oh yeah. I don't want a ton of color. And I don't want like super harsh lines, like lip line to lips. I did everything, right? That actually feels so nice because it's kind of cool. Uh, like I said, I'm like sweating a storm up. So this is the finished look. My Adele's inspired makeup, as you can see. We did a much rounder, much rounder look. Try to keep my eyes as like round looking as possible. Hopefully you like this look. It's very simple, easy to do. Um, yeah, and hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks again for all the love and support and I will talk to you soon. All right guys, bye.